Hello, everyone. Welcome to our Power A Team call this uh, beautiful Saturday in April, I guess uh, the 18th of April. Uh, welcome for, especially for the guests who may be listening to this type of call for the very first time. The purpose of this call is to introduce you to a cast of powerful speakers who have been associated with Niken for quite a while. The idea here is to demonstrate to you that Niken is not a fly-by-night situation. It's really a career opportunity for those of you who may be looking for something that has some real stamina, some real legs, some real depth to build upon for the for your retirement years or maybe during your retirement years or just simply if you're somebody looking to get something started like I was 28 years ago. I was in my late 20s and I was really in need of an opportunity although I was not necessarily actively looking for it. This one fell upon me as a result of a car accident and an inquisitive friend of mine who shared Niken with me and the rest is sort of history. We won't be hearing my story today because there's so many great stories to listen to but I can, I can assure you that I've had an incredible 28 year career with Niken, enjoy every precious moment of it, and to this day still do as excited as I was when I first got started, which I believe is really rare in the world of business of any kind. So I wanna get us started right away and bring us to our first guest speaker. So if you're listening for the first time, keep this in mind. If you're looking for a business, and a business that can really play out and create a lifestyle, for the long term, for the long haul, even though there are immediate benefits associated with this, there's some really incredible experiences that you have in store for you if you decide to become part of the Niken family. We're going to go to San Francisco, California and meet Bernadette McBurney. She's been um, involved with Niken for 20 years, 20 years. She's a diamond and she's going to tell your story. Bernadette, you there? Yes, I'm here. It's a Wonderful. Pleasure to be it's a pleasure to be here with everybody this morning. You know, I came across Niken 20 years ago, and the reason I looked at it is there was a couple of reasons. First, uh, it was at a time when I was actively searching for a solution to my daughter's, um, you know, chronic um, health concern, and, and, and I was just searching for any solution. And Niken came in, came, and I was just blown away by what I discovered. You know, I discovered the world of you know, just natural health solution. And it just made so much sense to me because these aren't just common sense solution. And it gave me back my little girl, you know, who had been suffering at that time for a year and a half. She was five and a half years old uh, of that issues and nothing seemed to help. And by incorporating, you know, the wellness home the solution into our lifestyle, it just gave my little girl back to me. And that to me was just worth everything. That's the first thing I fell in love with it. You know, and, and, and all I could see was people need to know. I wasn't looking for business. I, it just made sense. Then I looked at what Nikan was about. And there's, here's the second reason. I decided at that time, eight years before, to be a stay-at-home mom and put my career on hold to raise my children. When I realized that I could have a career from home, that was another you know, easy decision. So it allowed me to stay at home to continue to take care of my family. And, uh, and the rest has been history. You know, I, I really fell in love with Niken, but what caught my heart and soul was the philosophy by which Niken operates, which is the five pillars of health. Um, and because that aligns with my value, and that was it. So to me, it's just an easy way to talk about it. So I say, you know, whether if you, if you were like me, uh, a stay-at-home mom or mom or parents who wants to have more time with their children, have a career that's fulfilling, it was an easy yes. <laughs> that's it. That's it. And this is why I am here 20 years later, because it's just part of my life. And healthy living, it's not, to me, it's not even a goal. It's just a way of life. And I really believe that Niken allows us to do that. That's a great point. Thank you for, for sharing your story. I do have a question for you, Bernadette. I mean, we're all grateful to Niken in so many ways. Is there a highlight? Is there one thing, especially given the times we're living in right now, uh, thank goodness we're able to do this, uh, connect with each other online, but given the, the, the strangeness of our times right now, what is it that you would say you are most grateful for, for participating in Niken as a business? Did we lose you, Bernadette? Uh, looks like we may have lost the connection with Bernadette. Okay. 
Uh, give me a thumbs up if you can all still hear me. Dave, can you still hear me? Okay, great. Okay, we lost Bernadette. We'll have to come back to that question. Let's move on then. Um, we're going to move to Bo Tanis, who's in Toronto, Canada, along with me, somewhere in the city. Uh, Bo has been as well associated with Nikan 28 years. He's a Royal Diamond. Bo, why don't you share your story, please? Bo, you're on mute. By the way, watch that video I posted today on the Facebook. Or, or, uh, and the, it's so appropriate. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead, Bo. When you introduce Nikan to a, a good friend of mine and a highly respected entrepreneur, Bruce Black, uh, I was impressed that a multimillionaire got involved with Nikan, who did not need the money, but he had such a dramatic product experience. I knew that for any business to have any wheels, any success, it had to have something of value. And so it made me very curious. I came to a presentation that you're doing in a, a friend's basement um, in the dead of winter of 91, and uh, it changed my life. Just a, a little anecdote, we have a, a, a wide range of amazing wellness products and uh, magnetics are part of it, but when we left that meeting, I have a, had a very old car. Some people would call it a POS, um, <laughs> and it did not have a heater at the time, my financial situation. Did GM make a POS or was it Ford? Anyway, um, Bruce said, uh, try this. And he threw one of the Nikan products at me, the Kenko seat. You put it in your car or your office. And I was driving down, I had about a half hour ride home. And within about 10 minutes, I felt like a, a seat heater turned on. My, my seat felt warm, my back, my sore back relaxed. And I remember driving along looking at this, like what's in this plutonium? But it created such a strong physical and emotional reaction. It grabbed my attention to say the least. And of course it helped my back. Uh, so when I found that we have a, many products like that, that produce a physical and emotional reaction and improve people's health, uh, I saw a huge opportunity. And at that point, because I was driving said car, I needed an opportunity. And although I had successful video stores, although I had an extremely unsuccessful restaurant and uh, experience as a real estate agent, and before that many years as a professional musician, it was a time in my life when I was ready. And I find, just as a word of advice for everybody, share this with many people, do not prejudge. Thank God, Mike DiMuccio did not prejudge Bruce Black, a very wealthy, successful, retired um, businessman. Everybody needs to feel better, and, and no one feels that they have too much money. And I certainly felt I had way too less money, but, um, and also share it with people, because some people are really ready for something in their life now. Some people may not be. Maybe they're just used to what they're doing, and it may be hard to change that, but if you share this with enough people, you'll find people like me, Mike, and uh, one of my favorite stories is Dave Johnson, who you'll hear from. And uh, so because of that, long story short, uh, and people getting excited, sharing with many people, we have a global network in many countries, tens of thousands of people being helped by these products, and uh, a wonderful lifestyle of freedom and uh, success, travel, so it's been, it's been a, a great, great experience in every level, business and personal. So thank you, Michael, for introducing it to uh, Bruce Black. Well, I'm totally grateful for the opportunity to have introduced it to him and to you and for your participation in it. Bo, I have one question, same one I asked for Bernadette. What in these times are you most grateful for about having a Nikan business? Well, in addition to the fact that the products help a lot of people, and we've all who are on this call have seen life-changing benefits of all kinds, for people of all ages. Uh, I think the freedom at this point in time has made me even more grateful for having joined and having gotten involved and stayed active and, and building for all these years because I can be at home. I'm not concerned about finances. and uh, 
I've been semi-retired for a few years where I've been able to enjoy life and travel the world. So, and do it with family and friends that, who could not afford to come with me. So I just brought many friends with me on trips around the world and it's been a wonderful experience. Thank you, Nikan. Fantastic, thank you both. Thanks for sharing this morning, this afternoon. We're gonna go back to Bernadette in uh, San Francisco. Bernadette, that question, we lost you in, that, in yes. that question. Would you mind just sharing, what is it that you're most grateful about at this particular time in the, our history? Oh, absolutely, you know, there's so many, so many reasons why I'm grateful. But first of all, I I'm going to say thank you to Bo, the same way that he said thank you to you, because it's through Bo that I learned about Niken. And, and, uh, and, and that is one of the first reasons I could say, is meeting fantastic people like you who become great friends. So that's one thing that I'm very grateful for all over. Uh, but you know, it's, it's really, um, I was thinking about that and say, one, one thing that I guess I could say is the, the realization that I am really the one person in control of my own life. And every choice that I make, we really just impact how the quality of my life. And I think in a way, you know, that's, and, and that goes down in so many ways. So, you know, it's, I think that's what it is, is realizing this is an opportunity to understand that we do not, as much as we do not control the circumstances and the outside, I can always re control how I respond and how I respond will make you decide what my life is going to be. Um, and that I believe is one of the greatest realization that I had through Niken because I apply that principle in everything that I do. And this is something that I teach, that I've taught to my children. And it's just beautiful when you're able to pass on that really ownership of your life. Fantastic. Thank you, Bernadette. I uh, love the fact that you mentioned your kids because I uh, recently had my daughter, Sophia, share some of her insights uh, as a person who grew up in an Niken wellness home from conception right till she's 22 now. And, uh, and I can assure you, uh, if you get a chance to watch that or, or ask me about it, you'll hear some pretty amazing stories from the point of view of kids being raised in this environment, how it can impact not just you, your health, not just your freedom, but how they as children think and act as they grow up and as they look toward building their future. So if you're looking to have a generational effect, a generational impact, this is, is a calling that certainly does that. We're gonna to move to Lodi, California, and we're gonna hear from Dr. Gary Lindner, who is a Royal Diamond with NECAN. He's been with NECAN 22 years. Dr. Gary. Well, thank you, Mike, and thank you for inviting me on the call this morning. Um, so my introduction to NECAN was a, a little different. I was traveling in Asia doing technology transfer courses and assisted reproductive technologies, and one of the veterinarians in my class had, had a brother who had a health spa. And he started to tell me, I, he invited me to, to visit him at, the, at his health spa, and I did. It was, I'd been there for like a week, so I could use a, a nice day off and just relaxing. But his brother was a Nikon rep, and he started to tell me about some of these products from this company from Japan uh, that could help with the neck issue I was having. And uh, quite frankly, I looked at the guy like he was from another planet. <laughs> Initially, I really did. But what happened is it really intrigued me uh, the the natural uh nature of of the products using natural energies to help our bodies uh, really intrigued me but it but more than that um it i was very skeptical and and i just want to point this out to people too that that skepticism is a good thing you know many times when we're talking to people about different things we can tell that they have that they're skeptical but that's a good thing because basically all discovery, uh, whether it's scientific or things that we just learn in life, initially come from a skepticism. And really that's just with questions to ask. So um, long, long period of time, I did some due diligence, some research, tried some products. Um, and what really, really got me involved with Nikin, uh, and I have a very healthy appreciation for the business as well, but was the power of the products, of, of the ability to give people simple, easy choices through the concept of what we call our wellness home, to be healthy by choice and not leave their health to chance. Um, it's uh, something I love to share. Uh, the other part of it that, uh, uh, through the business part of it, is it 
it's allowed me to affect the lives of other, improve their lives, uh, to teach and to teach others to teach as well. So, so I, I love that aspect of it. Um, 22 and a half years, uh, pretty soon 23, which means that'll be 50% of Nikon's existence, <laughs> right? So I'm just about at 50% of Nikon's existence because we've been around for 45 years. Um, and it's um, uh, the time, you know, 45 years, but I've never seen a, a better time for us to, to help others than, than right now. Would you say, well, well I'm not going to make the assumption. So uh, that's an interesting point. The, the, the Nikan has been in business 45 years, and many of us have experienced almost half of those years with the company and have watched it grow and, and, and prosper through all kinds of uh, changes in the economy and the environment, uh, political changes, et cetera. And Nikan somehow seems to always find its way and, and is always upright uh, coming through any type of crisis. So we're in the middle of perhaps one of the biggest crises we've ever experienced in our lives and in Nikan's life. What, what do you say you are most per personally most grateful for, Dr. Gary, with respect to why you're in Nikan as a business? Well, well let me answer that two ways, and I'll answer it first personally. Um, I'm very grateful. I feel very blessed that uh, uh, Heather and, and my family, uh, our extended families, all have the um, attributes, the benefits of the wellness home. Um, I'll say just personally, I, I feel healthy. I feel strong. Uh, so I'm not having much personal anxiety of what's going on there. Uh, there are a couple people in our extended family that have been exposed to what's going on. But given where what they've uh, uh, their lifestyles that they've they've learned um, I think have helped them uh, very much so very thankful about that as well I think the other part of that is from a business standpoint um, and just a, a and from the business I mean of how to reach out to others and 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 help them make some healthy choices too uh, this has created an opportunity for us uh, an opportunity to virtually get together just like we are now. And I have probably done more of that in the last six weeks uh, than in the last six years. <laughs> but, and, and it's, and, and it's, it, it not only has an impact on me uh, and, and our business, but uh, an impact on others as well. Uh, you know, somebody will text me with a question and, and my response will be, well, hey, let's jump on a Zoom room together. You know, here's, here's the number. And uh, invariably we will because they have the time uh, to do it. So, uh, you know, and, and I love this way of virtual connection and, and teaching. Uh, so I think it's created a great opportunity for us moving forward. Um, you know, we'll, you know, in, in just about, uh, oh, at 10.30, uh, there'll be a great uh, virtual ladies leading ladies tea with the ladies um, uh, going on. And you can go to lading, le ladies leading ladies net and, and get the room and the address and uh, the login for it. Um, but that's uh, been a, a hugely successful and my, my hats off to the ladies for kind of organizing that type of virtual uh, summit. We're going to have a virtual product launch on May 1st. Uh, at 10 a.m. Uh, with one of our new products, and that'll be exciting. Uh, you know, that's there's lots of things we can do with that, and and really reach out to others in a very uh, effective way and a timely way as well. So. Awesome. Well, thank you, Dr. Gary, for sharing your insights and your story with us. Uh, I, I I love it. Uh, the the seamlessness of our business in this situation is kind of amazing. Uh, it's like we've been preparing for this all our lives. I, I know when people ask me, you know, how you doing? How you hanging out? I'm like, I'm okay. I kind of do this all the time. I'm, I work from home, so <laughs> yeah. it's not that big a deal. It's, yeah, it's, a, it's a very, very nice to be able to do that and, and still be very effective in, in our message and what we're doing. In fact, in fact even, even more so maybe because more yeah. people are perking up to what we have to say now, uh, given that they're really looking at their health as a primary concern. Yeah. Thanks, Dr. Gary. You bet. We're going to move to St. Pete Beach, Florida, where Barbara Bertucci is waiting to share her story. She's at Royal Diamond Nikan, Boom Nikan, 25 years. Barbara, are you there? I'm here. I'm, I love it. I say I'm live in St. Pete Beach. <laughs> 
Uh, thanks for having this uh, gathering today. It's just been an honor and a privilege to be, I love to say this tribe of people because they're my peeps. They're like-minded people that are all about health and wellness. And my dad was a general practitioner, an old GP that did minor surgeries and such. And I was raised in that. And I too, like Bernadette, wanted to be a stay-home mom. And I was for a good bit. And then when we moved to Florida with our family, with young children, we saw the water <clears throat> and decided, hmm, and wouldn't it be nice to have a house on the water? And I said, well, you know, I can bridge the gap of some of that income. Let me get um, a little bit going. And I started medical billing, mainly because, and I'm underlying that because I, I wanted my time freedom. Very important when you have children to have your time freedom to be able to take them places or uh, pick them up from school or just be with them in the afternoon. And so that was real important to me. And it was a lot to try and bridge that gap. Um, and then um, my physical health was challenged. And thanks to Niken, I got my physical being back. And the light kind of went on about, um, and I, I'm going to share it in a way because I couldn't afford to buy everything, uh, like at the time that Nikan came into my life. I wanted it all. And and I tried to figure out, okay, a, a car seat. And we had minimal <laughs> things back then, but we had the sleep system and such. But I was feeling so good. After about a week on these technologies, um, it shifted to an investment and when it became an investment into a business then it was nothing i mean me and mr visa but <clears throat> to make that commitment to buy the things we needed to have show and tell and to have the products to be a product of the product and to really you know take that on <clears throat> so for me uh transformative so but the other thing that was so amazing, I got my physical being back. But what started to happen was I got to get back to me. I got to find who I was in the midst of everything. Nikan has an amazing uh, training program, Humans Being More. You know, I think back with the house on the water, there was a time where I had given up on that dream. I had given up on that potentiality of my life like well we can live by the water and we can be by the beach and you know we'll be in the south and like that but to actually have the the mechanisms now financially and mentally and emotionally the whole gambit that we talk about in our five pillars of wellness you know to have that for me was just tremendous and i've grown so much uh, more than I can ever say. And, 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 and like you, Mike, uh, I've been doing Zooms now for over two years. I may not be tech savvy with the other stuff, but I can do Zoom, you know? So we learn all the way around. And I, I just am so grateful. I'm a cancer uh, thriver of 15 years. And thanks to Niken, I, I just handle my life, my world um, better all the way around. And one of the things I did learn is how to have people hold me. And I guess we might say that as posture. Um, but I am a family of nine. And to have just, if I just look at my family or my uh, uh, close-knit family, I had to recondition who I was for them, for me. And that I am about wellness and that I am capable of entrepreneurship. And so, yeah. I'll go into the more later about the other questions. Okay. Well then, okay. So, I mean, that's all you, that's a lot of gratitude statements. Um, what of all of this is, are you most grateful for right now in this time? You know, that, like you said, your, your life hardly shifted. And I be, believe Bo said the same, you know, that we have, um, I, I was very grateful that I don't have a loss of income. Uh, that, to me is an added stress. It's one to have the health stress, but, and, and the confinement stress for some of us that are, you know, 
uh, people, people, um, but to um, actually have the, um, uh, <clears throat> sorry, the, um, I lost my train of thought in the midst of that, um, but to have just, just to have a, an amazing um, home that supports who I am. <clears throat> I have the water, the air, the environment for protection. I feel very blessed to have that. So on a physical level, yes, oh my gosh, I'm so grateful. And then to have this community of all you like-minded people to um, reach out and touch and be a part of. So those are some added on extras. Thank Fantastic. You. Well, thanks for sharing your wonderful story, Barbara. Um, we're gonna have our final speaker now, and he's coming to us from Idaho Falls, Idaho. He's a Royal Ambassador, which is a um, souped up Royal Diamond, who's been with Niken the longest of, the, of us on this call, and probably most of us in Niken. 30 years with Niken. Mr. Dave Johnson. Dave, are you there? I am. Thanks, Mike. Post Falls, Idaho, up in oh, the Post Panhandle. Falls. Okay. <laughs> but uh, what, what an honor. In fact, this month, April, uh, was 1976 that I was introduced to the wonderful world of network marketing. And it just got inside my head, uh, rewired my brain, and I've never been the same. And I've uh, had the experience of uh, being with several other companies. One of the things that I thought, wow, I found it. This is it. I was with a company that had some real sophisticated, I would say even clinical uh, type nutritional products and we saw lives change. I was with that company for eight years and we'd hit a point where uh, we had nine children at the time and we were feeding them. I was full time, not rich or anything, but uh, uh, feeding nine kids, uh, that's, that's no idle boast. <laughs> and then it fell apart and oh, it just took the heart out of me and I had to go get a job. And when you have sweet and sour or light and dark, uh, health and sickness, uh, a job you love to something you hate, uh, that, that helped with that contrast. I had the worst job I've ever had. Uh, it was uh, day by day just uh, taking some of my soul. Uh, I wasn't uh, making any difference. I was going backwards financially. And, and then I turned 40 years old and it just, Wow, 40 years old, nine kids, uh, I can't feed them. If someone says, what, what are you, what do you do? I, I thought, you know, so much of who we are, we identify uh, with, uh, with our work. And I, I just hated to get it out of my mouth. What do I do? Uh, I'm uh, sales and uh, insulation. And insulation really isn't that exciting. And it's no differentiation between other companies and it was just doing bids and people would compare the bid. And uh, I, I, I just, and I made a commitment to be there for a year. Well, okay, a year had been there, uh, broke, going nowhere, 40 years old. And I just started saying my prayers and hoping, searching. And what I wanted was, uh, well, I needed to make more money. <laughs> but, but also, I wanted to wake up every morning and be excited about going to work rather than dreading it. I, I wanted to make an impact. I wanted to make a difference. And, and, and then Niken came along. Uh, it was just two months after I really started searching. And it was the most wonderful thing. I had not seen any Niken products at that point. But just uh, listening to someone on the phone talking uh, every moment he talked, I, I just knew inside it was the most wonderful, uh, just revelation. I, I remember thinking, this is it. In fact, I remember thinking, I know, I know that I know. Wow, I know that I know that I know. This is it. My day has come. My turn to shine. <laughs> and I think one of the keys really is, is just to, to have a really ardent uh, desire uh, and then find somebody that's already good at it. And, and here was my new friend, uh, write that call. Uh, our, our hearts matched. Uh, I just knew he was a good guy and he was making big bucks in this company selling magnets from Japan. And all I had to do was learn what he was doing, do the same thing over and over again. And I, I just ran with it. And I talked him into coming into Tri-Cities, uh, Eastern Washington, where we lived at the time to do a meeting to get me launched. And so I called all my friends, I called everybody and I says, this is the best thing I've ever seen. 
And, and actually, it was only in my mind's eye that I saw it. I had not seen any product yet. And I invited all these people to come and check out the product. <laughs> and I couldn't wait to see it myself. <laughs> but I think, did I really do that? But I, but I did. I just knew. And, and what's really exciting is uh, now 30 years later, it, it's even better. When Nikken came, it, it was very quiet, grassroots level, uh, sharing person to person. And, and you think about that, that's really the best way to market anyway, is, is a friend talking to a friend. And, and over those 30 years, we've had some ups and downs, but oh my goodness, uh, uh, it's way beyond any of my expectations. We've, we've done really well. In fact, we got so excited, we had two more kids. So now we got 11 and it, it's just changed my whole life. And just while we were doing this call, Valerie came down all excited. Uh, uh, because uh, she's got a new personal trainer and it's been online for the, a few weeks, as you can guess, but uh, she just came down and says, Hey, I, I, I sold him a, a couple of knee wraps. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, it really is. You, you can just be on the phone and talk to people, but uh, what was an example yesterday, you know, with, with all this kind of going on, I'm thinking, you know, what, what can I do to just kind of up my game a little bit uh, body wise? And so I, I went in and, and got an IV with, uh, you know, a bunch of stuff in it, you know, vitamin C and the Myers cocktail and ALA and, you know, some other stuff. And, but also I had this ulterior mind um, uh, th thing. I think, okay, uh, this is a new place. So I'm, I brought some uh, of the knee can water in a, in a big glass bottle and some water cards. And, and, uh, and, and while I'm having the IV, I get to talk to this person that I figured would be like-minded, liking alternative stuff. And I've got a new friend. In fact, I had to go back and uh, bring a couple of more bottles to the clinic uh, and some more cards and got more names. And, and uh, it, it is fun. I was on the phone right before this call with, with a brand new prospect and telling her about just this wonderful opportunity, sharing stories. Uh, uh, it, it's, it really, you do this business, it's, it's a, a, amazing. I, I love this. Uh, I, I'm so excited. And with our new leadership, uh, and then just remembering our roots, reconnecting with uh, uh, Larry Prophet uh, last week and hearing the stories of our founder, uh, you know, this, this is a company that really has a heart and a soul, a, a mission that if everyone were using these products, the world would be wonderfully improved. Uh, it just, all you have to do is try this yourself and then just think, wow, it made a difference for me. If I could scale this to other people, you know, what if one tenth of the population was on this? I, I believe that's what we should be working for. And if we do that, then, then just like so many other ideas that are wonderful, all of a sudden, It'll capture the public imagination, and this will be big. This will be a household word, and it'll be kind of fun sitting where we are right now when that happens. But we're ready. We've got uh, a new visionary world global president uh, of our company that, that's proven himself. Uh, I, I call it the Latin America miracle. It's going to happen with us, too. And Oh, wow. Boy, if, uh, other than wanting to make a, a huge, big impact and have fun every day and make lots of money and help lots of people and have a lot of friends and be involved in a just anxiously in such a great cause. Other than that, I don't know why anyone would want to get associated with NECAN. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not going to ask you the last question I've been asking everybody because I think uh, we can see your gratitude in, in, in everything you've been saying, how wonderful Nikin has been for you and for your sense of why you even are involved today. That's, uh, I think, the, the real testament is, you know, there's a lot of people who climb the ivory tower and they sit in the ivory tower at the end of the day and they kick their feet up on their desk and they really are kind of bored because most of their day is spent putting out fires. Here we are, Dave, you're the epitome of the ivory tower. I mean, you've achieved beyond success. Most people would ever fathom of in any endeavor, in any occupation. So you're not at all kicking your feet up on your desk and sitting on your laurels. You're still in the game and you're still active and you're still excited because you are connected to something that's very personal and very relevant. That's what I'm gathering from all of our speakers. So I love that about this is that it's not going away because it's what we're doing is necessary, whether it's a, a, a good situation in the world or a bad situation in the world, what we're doing is fundamental to health, well-being, 
and uh, and having a, an outlook on life that's positive and upbeat and of course making an impact so i don't think we're going away anywhere anytime soon so if you like the stories that you've heard and thank you dave for for jumping in today if you like the stories you've heard we have people from 20 years to 30 years uh, that you've listened to and i hope you've gathered from their 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 talk that their connection to this is very real very deep and is a demonstration of the validity of what it is that we're here to do. And as you mentioned, Dave, uh, we're, we're, we have a fraction of the population even though we exist. Most of us represent a demographic that's in the um, baby boom market, but there's people uh, after us and Gen X and Gen Y who've never heard of this, and they are just as much in need of the benefits of what we have to offer. So. Our job is far from over. We are just getting started. So I want to say thank you to all our speakers, Bernadette McBurney, Bo Tannis, Dr. Gary Lindner, Barbara Bertucci, and Dave Johnson. I'm Mike DiMuccio. Thanks for joining us. Have a wonderful uh, weekend. Have a wonderful afternoon. And get your questions answered. And by the way, in about uh, 24 minutes, there is a call. Ladies, leading ladies, you can jump in on that call and, uh, and learn more about Nikan through the Q&A Go to ladiesleadingladies.net for more information on that. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Have a good one.